Hello everyone, in this small lamb video I'm going to be walking you through on everything that you need to know and do in order to get your very own bird that you can fly around the yard. Now out of all of the six different creatures that are currently in the game that you can tame, this one is a little bit different because you don't actually tame it, instead you buy it. You are going to need a total of 500 hoots as well as a an egg that you get from breaking a nest. So let me show you where to get all this. Firstly, I just want to say this, you're probably going to go to the runes and farm some pyrite in order to trade to the merchant to get your hoots, but you will need a total of 2,000 pyrite. That's a lot. There is a second way to earn hoots, and that's by going up north to the NPC camps to kill the elites and some of the scouts. The scouts have a lesser chance of dropping hoots. The elites have a greater chance, but it's not much hoots that they drop. So it's entirely up to you what you prefer to do. And you can always farm the pyrite if you want to, that is an option. But keep in mind that each person needs 2,000 pyrite. So between Tyrant and I, we farmed a total of 4,000. And we took all of that to the merchant and traded it for the hoots here. But I will say this, it took us about three and a half trips each to the ruins just to get 2,000 pyrite. So it was a lot of farming. Once you are in, this section of the yard, you want to look out for all of the little bird nests. Now there's a couple of different places where you can go to find a bird nest location. There's one that's located over here on the east side of the map, right next to one of the pond pieces, and it's up high on top of the little playset. There's also another one that's a little bit easier to get to the first time you're doing this on foot, which is located right over here by the, the messed up car. And this is where it's located on the map on the southwest side. Make your way over to one of those locations and you are going to encounter a wild blue tit and you need to be very careful because they are aggressive and they hurt very hard. More than any of the other creatures in the game, they will mess you up. This nest location that I'm going to is definitely the easier one in my opinion and I'm just giving you an aerial view just so that you can see it a little bit better and it's basically on top of that broken log right there. Once you do get in the vicinity of the bird nest, you will notice that it will come in straight away, start attacking you, which this thing hits harder than any other creature in this game, and it is incredibly deadly. For anybody that is out there that is solo, this thing is going to really wreak havoc on you. But I did manage to kill a lot of these on my own using a couple different strategies. I actually tried using the stink bombs, but I wasn't entirely pleased on how they worked because I accidentally did hit my Myself with one at one point and it caused poison damage to myself but my strategy is actually really simple I just shoot it with my arrows and I'm only using wood arrows here by the way the most basic form of arrows so I shoot it once and then I roll backwards twice or three times depending on how much distance I need to cover then I draw my bow back hit it again rinse and repeat and if you get too far away from the bird it will take off in order to land closer to you which allows you to regain stamina uh, a little bit quicker, but you also have to keep in mind that my character here does have max stamina. So I'm currently leveled completely out in my stamina. When you're up at the nest, you'll notice that it needs a flint pickaxe or better, and this part is going to take you a very long time if you are by yourself. Pull out your pick and start harvesting. I have, I believe, what is currently the best pick in the game. Alright, so now that you have your egg and you have collected your 500 hoots, it is time for you to go and speak with the NPC Malik or Malik, whatever you want to call him. Once you have the hoots in your inventory as well as the egg, you can walk up to the NPC and speak with him in order to trade for the bird now, I wasn't entirely sure where my bird was when I purchased it, but if you look right above him, sitting on top of his little throne area, you'll see the bird right there. And I was really impressed when I when I got it for the first time. <gasps> my own bird! Your eyes. Just... Go up and inspect it or whatever you do. You can mount, wait here, leave party, inspect. How much health does it have? I need to see that. 
things out. That doesn't seem as much as I would have thought, bro. It is... It is level 0. Max level 10. Yeah, everything only goes up by 1%, it says there. Speed only by half percent. Some of the bird mechanics might seem very difficult at first. Like, for example, I'm not pressing anything but... A and D to move from left to right, the bird automatically does fly forward, and you'll notice that as I am flying, there's no stamina that's consumed at all. So this is incredibly interesting here. Holding space will allow you to go higher in the air, and that's where it does consume the stamina. And you can see that if I just don't press anything, I'm moving forward, unless I turn left right there. Holding C allows you to go downwards. Now, again, if you hold shift, you will speed up and you will notice a big difference when you are actually holding shift. And this does consume stamina. But again, all you have to do is release that and then you're not consuming the stamina anymore. This is by far the fastest mount. But let's talk about one of the more important things, which is landing. So to land, this was a bit odd in my opinion, but left control is how you land. You only need to click it once and it will go down to the ground. Now this might seem a bit odd at first when you are landing because it's a little bit unpredictable and it is going to require you getting used to it. Unfortunately though, when you are riding the bird, you cannot attack with it. Left mouse button doesn't do anything. We tried a number of different types of keys on the keyboard and we could not get it to attack. So unfortunately, you will have to be dismounted for this bird to attack any other hostile creatures. But this is basically just used for a mount to get you across the yard that much faster. For this last test, we decided to take the bird over the no-fly zone where you would normally be killed by hawks, and this is what happens. Well, you can fly <laughs> over. This is, this is why you want the bird, because now you can just fly over the gap when before you would have been eaten oh. by hawks. Yeah. Yep. Also, something else to point out is that the bird acts like any other mount in the game. You can level it just like any other creature, but the more important thing to always remember is that you can call it with a pet whistle. Sometimes it is a little bit janky and will fly off on its own, but for the most part just call it back and it should reset it to normal. I really do hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please consider liking and subscribing as it does help out my channel a lot. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.